tutanyenyekea sana miguni pako tukisema ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu wetu na kwa hakika hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kutulinda na hata kutuhifadhi wakati wote tagu wakati tulipofuga shule baba wa biguni na mpaka wakati wa leo ambao tumekutana dio tukaanza muhura huu Mungu wetu umeona upendo wako mwingi juu yetu baba wa biguni ni kwa sababu umelida watoto wetu umelida wasasi wetu umewahifadhi umewapatia nafasi ingine tena ya kukua katika shule hii baba wa biguni tunakushukuru kwa sababu tunajua kwamba imegalimu mkono wako tumeona wengi wakiagamia wengine wameagamia na maji na mambo tofauti tofauti wengine wako mahospitalini lakini hawa wetu Mungu wetu umewalida na hata umewashughulikia na pia baba wa biguni tunajua kwamba si kwa sababu tumetenda mema lakini ni kwa sababu tu ya huruma sako nyingi dio maana umetulinda na umetupatia nafasi ingine ya kuwa katika kikao hiki kwa hivyo tunaalika uwepo wako Mungu wetu tunapoanza siku ya leo na ili baba wa biguni tu commission tamu hii baba wa biguni tunakuoba na tunaitisha presence ya roho wako mtakatifu akawa juu yetu na ili yote ambayo utakayoyatenda na kuyanena katika kikao hiki Mungu wetu iabatane na mapensi yako kuwa nasi baba wa biguni tunapoendelea kuwa nasi tunapoendelea kutenda yote ambayo tutakayoyatenda kuwa na walimu wetu na wanafunzi wetu kuwa na wasasi wetu baba wa biguni ambao wamefika na wale ambao hawajafika ukaweza kufaharakisha nyayo sao na ili baba wa biguni tukaanza pamoja tujikabidhi mkononi mwako Mungu maana tujua ya kwamba usipokuwa pamoja nasi hatuwezi lolote lakini roho wako mtakatifu akiwa nasi atakuwa mwelekezi wetu na yote atakayoyatenda baba wa biguni itafanya jina lako liinuliwe na hata lihimidiwe hii tumeomba tukikuomba mwanzo katikati na hata mwisho tutashukuru tukisha kuona ukitutendea mambo mema katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuwaomba na hata kushukuru our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us Lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Endesta. Uh, Ningeoba to Simame, to Ibe one call us that we invite our chaplain uh, to party a devotion. Then from there we go on. Teacher Simon. <coughs> me and Pam 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 Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Hamjambo. Happy new term. Yes, I'm here. Uh, to them that have forgotten, I'm Simon. Pastor Simon, yeah? You remember? Yes, we have met. We have met. This is the second time, I think, uh, to open the school. And even to the parents who are here, maybe we have never met. I'm Simon Murige. And I love the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal savior. And I am delighted to be here with our children and teachers 
for this uh, grand opening of the second term, 2024. Though it was delayed due to the floods that were happening all over the country, but we thank God by God's mercies, uh, God has intervened, has given us good weather, and the clouds seems to have uh, hidden to the prayers. And therefore, we are here to thank God that we have come back to school. And having come back, it's our tradition uh, church school that uh, we have prayers because we believe everything should be done giving God, uh, uh, giving God all the, the trust that everything is possible with God. I want us to read from the book of uh, the letter to the Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4 from verse 8. Children, Philippians chapter 4, from verse 8. It reads, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any value and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. It's just one verse. One verse. Philippians chapter number four, verse eight is calling us children that we think of these things. We think we have come here to use our brains. We have come here so that we may be able to be sharpened in our thinking. Thinking is the head. Is what? The head. And what happens in thinking is what you see. Is what you see is what you hear and is what you touch. And what you smell and what you taste. Five senses. Five? That is why we say five common senses. But we have another sense, sixth sense, sense, which is called spiritual. What you have in the heart, what God has to you. So it's what we see, what we hear, what we touch, what we taste, what we Smell. What we smell. And therefore for us as a school, we want to think of these things. Think of these things that make our thinking, that contribute to our cognitive development. Mind. Our minds. What is there? What are we thinking? What are we seeing? What are we tasting? What are we smelling? What are we hearing? And Paul is talking to us and telling us that whatever, whatever is lovely, whatever is good, whatever is noble, all things that are praiseworthy, is what we are supposed to have. Things that are good. 
have them. Things that can give us a good report. We can get good report. By the end of the term, by the end of the term, we are going to be given a, a report a report that will be compiled from what we have done, from what we have had, we are going to receive a report card. What will be the report? There is performance. Even to the teachers, there is performance. And this performance has grades. And I thank God that we are in a very good system which we are calling CBC, Competence-Based Curriculum, where we measure our abilities through what we can do with our sales, with what we can engage into. And therefore, there is that report that says, beyond expectation, beyond expectation, there is also what? Eh? You know, nowadays we don't know how you are. Me, I thought when you get a knee, you are failed. But in CBC, it's opposite. Eh? E is very high grade. Because it is what is expected. So we want to hear good report about you. Things that are true. Things are true. Here we are going to be speaking the truth. Nobody is going to be telling us lies. When you ask something, when you are asked something, you tell the truth. What happened? You don't lie. You tell us the, the truth. You understand? You tell us the truth. If you are asked by your teacher, why did you not do your homework? Don't cheat the teacher. Because there are some people who, are, who have a lot of lies. I had one who was asked, what happened to your homework? And the, the, that child said, my homework was eaten by the cow. You know, you can cheat and the lies betray you. Don't cheat. Why didn't you do the homework? We, I didn't do the homework because I was having a stomachache and that is a lie. That is a lie. Why were you late? Because I had a stomachache. But that time, you are not having a stomachache, it's only that you are lazy. You do not wake up on good time. We want people to speak the truth. If you are late, just say why you are late. I was late because I didn't feel like waking up. Just tell the truth. And the, when you tell the truth, the truth will set you free. Things that are good, things that are good, they are things that you do and they are good. Like, you can help a friend who has a problem. If you see your, your, your friend is having a problem, maybe that friend has fallen down, you don't laugh at that person. You help the person come, you know, uh, wake up. You don't laugh at that person. You don't fight your friend. You really help one who has a problem. Sindio? Yes, this is what we are expected to do. Whatever things are just. Just is what you'd like others to do for you is what you want others to do for you. So everything does not belong to you. You can share with your friends because you also feel like if this one does not have this, we can share this and we can help one another. And therefore for us as children, as parents, 
we are going to think on those lines of the things that can give us good report, things that are of good report, and if there is any virtue, if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things, on those things that can add value. There are things that will add value to us. Things that are of benefit. We avoid things that are not going to add value to us. Like now, you are having your, uh, you watch videos. All right? So you have your phones with you all the time. When I am visiting you, I've seen you, all of you. When I'm entering your houses, I'm finding everyone with a, with a, with a phone. Because you are in the, you know, the games that you play. But some of the people that we have, they get into other apps in the phone. And some sites are not good for you. Some sites are not good for you. Even the music that you listen to. You can open an app that is going to give you value. Things that are not good for you, those things that are not good for children, and you know them, please don't watch them. Don't listen to them. Even when you hear people abusing one another, don't be there to abuse one another. I want to tell you, you have to have good virtues. Anything that is of praiseworthy is what we are inculcating in you. And even our parents, as you have come, let us have things that are going to be of praiseworthy to our children and that things that are going to be beneficial, things that are going to add value. And try as much as possible that because this is uh, what we call as uh, the base, the foundation of the children, we also take care of what they see, what they hear, what they taste, and all those senses. We are going to bring up a good, good, good children. And therefore, for us this term, let us use our brains well and let us get what is supposed to be given to us so that we may grow and become good children and good people. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we are going to rise up, all of us. Tutasimama sote. Na tunataka kuomba. We want to pray. We want to pray. We want to pray. Yes, and it is good to thank God because where we are, we have to thank God. There are children during this time of floods who are swept by the, the, by the floods. You saw that. Yes, there were children that did not report to school today. And even some of the children are not even attending classes because their classes are submerged. There are places that learning is not going on. But for us, we have all the reasons to thank God. Eh? And also to pray for the others who have problems. So today we thank God that he has given us such a wonderful time. Congratulate our children for turning up. Let us start off this term with the zeal, with the passion, and do our best. Thank you, teachers, for the good work. Thank you, parents. And let us, all of us, do what is appropriate. done. If it is school fees to be paid, please don't delay. Just pay in good time. I've always told the people, and the parents, we are here as we are praying. I've always told the people, paying school fees is not something you go bragging that you have paid school. It's a responsibility. 
It is not an achievement. It is what you are supposed to do. Just pay school fees. And the rest you leave it to the teachers. And you'll see what God can do to your children. Let us sacrifice for the good of our children. Let us all pray. Heavenly we want to thank you this morning. We worship you. Thank you for the time that we were here closing the school. And the whole of the time we have been at home, we have seen of your goodness. You have walked with us and our children are back to school. We want to thank you because they are healthy. We want to thank you because these children have been good to us. And we worship you because you have brought for the so that we can start off this uh, uh, term together. We also want to thank you even for our teachers. You have brought them back. Our parents also, you have enabled them to prepare these children and they have even the resources to support our children. We want to thank you. We don't want to take anything for granted. This is your doing. As we start off this time, Lord, we invite of your presence that you are going to walk with us. As your word has taught us this morning, we are going to think of things that are going to add value to us, things that are praiseworthy, and our children will keep on growing according to your desire. And by the end of the learning of this term, we are going to count of your blessings. Continue taking care of us in our going out and coming back. These children will be using school buses. They will be using other means to travel. And we are praying that God, you are going to take care of their traveling. We also want to thank you even for our parents, wherever they are working. Lord, you are going to give them even the resources. You are going to open doors and ways for them to get enough so that they can support their children. We want to commit our, uh, our teachers who are working towards the, these children, that you are going to give them the ability, you are going to give them uh, whatever that is needed for these children to learn. May you equip them fully for these children to develop well. We thank you, Lord, even for the church, the way it has even maintained this place, that God, you are going to give them good uh, environment and also good leadership that we are going to see results in this school. This is one of the schools that God, we are proud of because you have called us to such a wonderful environment. Continue uh, giving us more. Continue increasing us. Continue giving us even peace that Lord, as we are going to be here throughout this term, we are going to count of your blessings. Be with us and take care of us. For this is our humble prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Let's get seated. We are going to say the benediction after any other announcement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chaplain. Uh, uh, for those good words, very encouraging. And now we know why we are here. We are here so that we can do good to our children and they also do good to our life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, today we are privileged. We have our sponsors. Our sponsors is the church. And we are privileged to have the chairman of our church, whom I'm kindly inviting so that he can say hi to the parents and also hi to the to their peoples as we start this new term. I know he he's, has got a lot in store uh, for this term. Thank you, Chairman. Karibu. Uh, bona asifiwe. Watu mjambu. Good morning. Nani anakubuka jina yangu? Who can remember my name? Yes. Shout where you are there. Thank you, Krapu. <laughs> Mpigeni makofi. Eh, naweza kubuka. Wazazi ya mjambu. Bona asifiwe. Uh, we are proud of you. And uh, as just our chaplain I just said, we want to thank God. Ni kwa sababu wazazi wetu, watoto wetu, hata kama kuna wale wame 
huweza uh, kuhusika katika janga hili la uh, mvua ni wale hamjatuambia so we thank God that uh, none of our children was affected and we pray and continue to pray for them and you as parents as we have been doing even when the school was closed our appeal just like what the chaplain had just said is that you support us let us work as a team because as a church we are trying the best we can to give your children the best education as far as they are here and we mold them well in a Christian way. So our appeal is that you support us. We have already branded our vehicle. You can also market this school. It is your school. We have programs that are geared toward improving our academic and also our children. And therefore, we require your support. The chaplain just said, pay the school fees, leave the rest to the teachers and the management. We are assuring you, the environment that your children are is well taken care of. The food that they eat, the tea that they drink, and that's why we are appealing, Chairman, that uh, we appeal all the parents to register their children for lunch. Tunasikiza na wazazi. Ni viema munadipia watoto wenu chakura wanakura hapa. We are taking care of them very well. So that even when they are here, we are also proud of them. Again, for those who are living far, our school bus is there. Well braided well taken care of, let us support this school in each and every way that you see that you are supposed to. Market it to uh, your neighbors, and at the end of the day, we'll just say, honor and glory is to God. So I'm standing here to assure you, as a sponsor of the school, the church is ready to support, to work with you as parents, with your children, and we to pray for you, just like the, how the chaplain I just said, that we are praying for you, your businesses, your jobs, so that even when you pay the school fees, the school can continue to run. Our profit margin is very minimal, because ours, we also do our input on social corporate when we are considering our school fees. So we thank you very much for the fact that you have taken the fact that you have supported the school and continue to be assured that your children are in one of the best institutions. May the Lord bless you. May God be with you. Uh, and we meet when we will be closing the school. But for the children, them, and may the Lord continue to bless you. My name is David Enuawero. I do have the Lord as my personal savior. God will continue to bless each one of us as we take our own individual responsibilities. May the Lord bless you. Thank you. Thank you to Pigia Chairman Wakanisa Makovi. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's the best assurance that we have that uh, when the Father speaks, Sikuna kuwa na hope. Wazazi. When the Father speaks, Sikuna kuwa na nini? Na hope. We have hope. Uh, the church is going to continue supporting the school. Uh, the church is going to continue doing the uh, putting up the infrastructure, Sivenzuri, green environment, and we thank God for the work that so far they have done. Uh, thank you, uh, Chairman, uh, for those encouraging words to even to us, the school, and also to the parents that we are in good hands. We also have Elder Esther. Elder Esther is also a mother and also a peer to this school. And then in Omoja too, so that before we go back to the school, kindly Elder Esther. You encourage the parents. Watoto habari enu. E, bwana asifiwe. Kama vile mmesikia kwa majina ni Esther Wagujiri na Kristo ni bwana dani ya moyo wangu. Na mfrahia hata na wakati huu tunapo kuja mahali hapa. Ni tunapo ona watoto wetu na tunapo ona wasasi. Kukuja hapa asubuhi na kuleta watoto diyo tukue na mawabi nao inaonyesha ya kwamba munapenda watoto wenu bwana asifiwe kwa sababu ile kitu ambayo imefanya watoto wengi wetu wanapotea ni kwa sababu sasa kina we don't sacrifice time unaweza lipa pesa mingi but you also have to sacrifice time to be with your kid 
na kujua mahali penye yako ile kitu inafanyika bwana asifiwe ndio wakati anakuja kukuambia iko hivi na hivi tayari we uko na information and information is power inatusaidia kuendelea kulea watoto wetu mimi nikiwa hapa na nikiwaona nyinyi wasasi naona sasa sasa wale watoto wote mimi ni sio sio yao bwana asifiwe and ninapoona the generation i'm happy kwa sababu biblia inasema wana wa wana ni taji bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo ninapowaona tunajua kwamba we are heading somewhere kwa hivyo may god help bless you na muendelee kukuwa responsible for your kids because watoto tunakuwa tukipewa na Mungu wakiwa baraka na pia watoto wanakuwa furaha katika boma setu na wakati mwingine watoto hata wanakuwa husuni lakini it will take us kuwafanya wakuwe furaha kwetu bwana asifiwe kwa sababu wewe una jukumu ya kufanya ndio furaha yako kwa huyo mtoto ifikie uko na jukumu la kufanya na ndio hii jukumu ambao umeanza na ndio mshukaji wetu ametuambia kwamba unapolipia mtoto school fees hii si nini hii si si ati kuna kitu kubwa unafanya you are doing what you are supposed to do it is your responsibility mungu alikupatia hiyo ni kasi unaweza kuwa hakuna kasi nyingine unafanya ya mungu but kulea mtoto ni kasi ya mungu unafa, unafanya kwa sababu alikupatia huyo mtoto umre na huo mtoto huwa anasariwa akiwa empty kama hana kitu ndani wewe ndio unaanza kuinsert ile mambo yenye unataka ikuwe kwa mtoto wako kwa hivyo it is our responsibility as we continue ku, ku, kuona watoto wetu waki grow tujue yale mambo ambao tunainsert ndani yao ndio wakuwe furaha kwetu kwa sababu tukiinsert mambo mabaya hawatakuwa furaha kwetu tukiwashia watu wengine wa take responsibility ya watoto we, wetu ndio tunapata tuko na shida hapa na pale but because god is on our side he will help us to do the needful na watoto wetu wata grow kama vile itampendeza mungu na pia itatupendeza sisi may god bless you take your responsibility as a parent and may god do you good thank you sante sana tupigie daesta makofi thank you for that good counsel na tunashukuru mungu parents i also wants to I uh, notify you that our chaplain is a counselor by profession na anakuwaga hapa Wednesday anakuwaga hapa full time in the other day munaweza patana naye ukiwa na shida yote here he is and he is able to assist us he has been a, a good 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 uh, we now uh, want kuuliza walimu wote wasimame walimu tafadhali tusimame wote Walimu walimu wasasi watoto tukae chini. Thank you thank you thank you. Our parents we want to assure you that all our teachers are back. Hakuna mwalimu ambaye hajakuja wote wako na watoto wenu wako in the good hearts. Kiangalia kila mwalimu wako na klasi yake and we thank God for God giving them uh, even hiyo mapenzi ya kuja siku ya kwanza na Mungu amewarida. So thank you thank you teachers tukae chini. Uh, at this juncture tuwapigie makofi. And we'll be praying that you continue uh, taking care of our children and God will bless you. This juncture I want to give the administrator if there is any communication he do, he do it before we give back to the chaplain so that he can pray for us and he declare the term open. Our chaplain the board of management our parents teachers peoples hamjamboni uh, my name is robert mushero and uh, i'm the administrator i'm glad to see this juncture i would like to have just two announcements one in the course of the term we shall have our academic clinic but uh, once we issue our newsletter this week eh, we shall come are we together so please endeavor to come and know the progress of your child don't fail we shall communicate early so ensure that you 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 come and uh, see the progress of your child the other one is that we have uh, introduced our fleece jackets fleece jacket because we want all our pupils to be uniform atutaki moja kuwe na jacket color any different we just want all the all of them to be uniform we have a logo and the correct size so we encourage parents 
let us support the school, watoto wakae smart, be uniform, and uh, one will be going for 1800, the other one will be going for 2000, depending on the size. Are we together? So if you want to purchase one, just inform the teacher, then we shall invoice the child. Sawa sawa? Okay. I think with that, I'd like to wish all the teachers a great time ahead. In case of anything, people, the parents, in case of anything that concern, just come and to my office. We shall be able to, we shall sort it out. Are we together? The other thing, before I forget, is that we have also uh, an additional contact that we shall share with you parents. You can just have that contact, which we shall also put it in the newsletter. Thank you very much, and may God bless you. Thank you, thank you. To begin, our Mr. McCoffey, uh, he is always in the office. Akokatika office, so if you need anything about school, he's there to assist us. Uh, and we thank God for the far that we have, we have gone. Uh, tuko karibu kumarisa, I want to give it back to our chaplain so that he can declare this term open and also give us benediction. Tukitoka hapa, watoto watarudi kwa class, wale wazazi wakona aja kuwana administrator, atakuwa huko juu so that uh, we may finish together. Jina langu ni Wakaba Muiruri. Uh, currently I'm the chairman of the BOM and I thank God because he is my personal savior. He has given me this uh, strength uh, and, I, and I love this school. Na pale tumefika, tumeona mkono wabwana. Chaplain, thank you for even coming. I want to thank you very much. He was here by seven and, and we apologize. He had communicated seven but it was eight. Thank you Chaplain for being here and uh, for those encouraging words. Kindly uh, give us benediction and declare the term officially open now. Before we do the benediction, just to say one thing the chairman has said about the school transport. Uh, you are very much aware of the many accidents that have been happening in our country. And the NTSA is very, very, very specific on school children. Please ensure, even if you don't take our school bus, ensure your children are using compliant means. Compliant means. What I can assure you is our bus now, because that is the first thing I inquired from him, because if anything happens to one of the children, we'll be liable. And therefore, we have made our school bus to be very compliant with the TSC, uh, with the NTSA uh, code of uh, conduct and everything. Therefore, you are to use your own means at your own risk. But for us, we are compliant. Sawa sawa. Hata kama ni nduthi, kuna watu wanatumia nduthi? Kuna watu wanatumia nduthi? He, chunga sana, chunga malima, chunga dereva, chunga. Hii mambo yote inatuletea madhara. Kwa hivyo, in, in French we say, muge ne mutare. In French we say, Muge ni mutare. Tusimame. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not carry 
everything to God in prayer. And now I declare the second term is officially opened. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And everybody say, Amen. 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 And now, the peace of God that passes all understanding may dwell in you and live with you that you may grow in knowing God and his son, Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you now and forevermore. Amen. And everybody say, Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are done. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Have a good day.